Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I am making a salad. We are live with a studio audience. Yay! <laughs> it's totally live! And we've got people in the house, and I'm really happy to say we have a surprise dinner guest. And if he chooses to show up in the video, that's great. If not, that's great too. I think he's going to enjoy this meal. And I think that you guys are going to enjoy what I'm up to because I'm literally making it up as we go. I found these beautiful king oyster mushrooms at Whole Foods and it reminded me of Mendocino, the moist woods. And my friend Matt Samuelson, an amazing chef, forages for mushrooms all the time. And one day he came home with mushrooms that looked like these. These are king oyster and his were bolete. I don't know if they're the same thing, but these look similar. He grilled them. And when he pulled them apart, it was almost like the texture of mozzarella. So what I decided to do was pull them apart and then put them with uh, garlic and coconut oil on the stove and kind of saute them. So that's going to go on top of what I guess I would call a salad because so far I have these beautiful heads of romaine. I have zucchini. I have purple pepper, purple onions, and some apple. So what I would and spinach. So we'll see what I do as far as the salad and what that looks like. It could be, you know, a beautiful salad. And then the exciting, the other exciting thing in the whole mushroom vein of things is that I have been brewing chaga mushroom on the stove as a broth for tea. But I thought, why not use that as the base for a salad dressing? So it's very simple. You buy chaga chunks from the Longevity Now. Uh, not longevity now, longevity warehouse, and you buy them in a bag and there's little chunks and all you do is you put them on the, on the stove with water and you boil it and it makes a beautiful broth that can be used for anything, smoothies, soups, teas. So I even heard that some people put that in their enema. So you can use chaga for anything. And speaking of that, detoxification is really important and elimination is important. That's all I'm going to say for right now. In the meantime, I know that's funny, the live studio audience is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't believe she said that. Okay, but this is all about health and the flow of chi and putting in good food, putting in good love, and you know, just keeping everything beautiful, the flow going. So now I have a little mini food processor out, and it's so handy for making small portions. So I'm going to put a little bit of the, I think I can do it without straining. Okay, so we have the chaga mushroom. I did have a little Romania in there as well, so that's nice. I'm going to put a little bit of onions, give it an onion flavor. I'm going to use the rest of the finely chopped purple onion for the salad. I have orange juice, will give us a nice zest and some sweetness. I sometimes like to add a little bit of extra sweetness in the form of honey or coconut sugar or a date. Apple will sweeten it. So it's nice to have the flavor balancing. And then to make it a little thicker. Tahini, almond butter would work. I'm going to use tahini because I'm craving the calcium that's in sesame seeds. I'm really into these days making sure that I'm mineralized and I have the things that my bones and my teeth need. And bok choy and sesame tahini are excellent for uh, calcium. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to hand this off to my live studio audience. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you, kind sir. That's funny. Okay, so now what I want to tell you is that to really thicken this up, you need to use a lot of tahini, which would boost the fat content. For some people, that's okay. For some of you who want to keep it low fat, then a wonderful way to get body in a salad dressing is just taking a chunk of zucchini and putting it in, thickening up the dressing, and then seeing how much fat. Then you can really control how much fat you put in. We here today are going to be happy with some zucchini and a whole lot of tahini and it's going to be rich. I'm putting in a couple tablespoons and I'm going to move for a rich and thick dressing. So we have that. The, the mushrooms already have garlic so I don't need to put garlic in here. I might need a titch of honey. I'm thinking that and some salt. 
So the honey is, I'm actually going to use some, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use the hot habanero honey. And somebody asked me what was in this, and they have, it's sage honey they use as the base, and they put in tomato puree and lemon, let's see, tomato puree, onion, garlic, black pepper, allspice, ginger, and crushed tomatoes. So if you want to make that at home, otherwise it's honey pacifica. And that will give us some heat, and it will give us some sweetness. I put in three tablespoons. Okay, so now I blend it and then I taste it. in my, I used this the other day from Essential Living Foods, I used their Bolit mushroom powder and those are the mushrooms that reminded me these reminded me of it could be the same, I could be hearing from a mushroom expert below so I'm going to use a little bit of the mushroom powder in there, it's savory and it gives like just some extra flavor but you know what, I'm going to taste it first I'm going to taste it Mm, I didn't add the salt. It's beautiful. And I think the mushroom powder is going to be nice in it. Remember your salad dressings need to be thick. They need to have some body so that they can hold on to the lettuce. We don't want runny salad dressing. Okay. Two teaspoons of that. And I blend again. I have a patient studio audience. Anybody who's ever been in my kitchen knows that I, I keep um, changing things as I go, even to the point when I serve it at the table and I serve a big beautiful bowl of salad and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I want to add some pumpkin seeds and I sprinkle some more things. Or I want to add some nori, let me do that. So it's never done until it's actually being eaten. Isn't that right, studio audience? Yay! <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful for our... Oh wow, I really like it. It's savory, it's a little sweet, it's mushroomy, it's oniony. Perfect. So, as far as everything else goes, when you make your dressing, you can just, if you're in a hurry, dip romaine, eat it, Put some zucchini slices, use it as a dip. If you have time to chop, then finely chopped vegetables are always welcome in the raw food world. The finer you chop your zucchini, the more surface space there is to have uh, the, the flavoring on. So we got our onions. And I think the most fun thing about raw food is really, it's the produce shopping or the produce procuring, the produce procuring because that's when you get to get inspired by what vegetables are the most vibrant or what you find that reminds you of something else. And if you don't know what to do with something that looks like fun to you, then you can go online and look at recipes or flavor ideas or you could get the flavor bible and that will help guide you. So it never ever has to be boring. Just because you're having salad every day doesn't mean that it has to be the same flavors, the same dressing. But if you find something you like and it's great, then stick with that and have it every day. There's nothing wrong with that either. Okay. Your body knows what it needs. When it's time to switch, it will know. So as long as you're clean, as long as our bodies are clean, then our cravings, uh, as long as they're healthy cravings, then that will dictate what vitamins we need. And it's the same thing that when we are drawn to crystals, certain stones, and if we're drawn to something, we don't need to academically know why. Um, it's usually just the property that will benefit us at that particular time. 
probably the same thing goes with people. We're attracted to certain people who can teach us something, a lesson perhaps, share in something, do something with us. So sometimes we don't always get to know exactly why that is. But the cleaner we get, the more intuitive we get, and the more we can be attracted to the good things and good people uh, that will benefit us and bring us to our highest level of operation. And I said I was going to put in apple, and I feel like that could be a really good idea. And a beautiful way to treat this apple is, because sometimes things take a long time to cut. And if we don't want to take a long time to cut things, having a tool like this that's maybe $49, it's a Borner V-Slicer, getting a cut, a cut protection glove is important because that we don't, we don't have to use the weird plastic thing that holds the fruit or the vegetable. And we literally can just take it and it juliennes the fruit or vegetable. Now if, you, if there was one item to get, one handy kitchen tool, I would say that this is the handy kitchen tool to get. If there was one machine to get, it would be a high performance blender, uh, like a Vitamix or a Blendtec. And I would say that would be heads and tails over any juicer or anything else. I wouldn't live without a high performance blender, and you won't know it until you try it. You won't believe that you lived without one. So however you need to get one, it's really, really such a great way to add in all of our nutrients because to sit and chew all of the things that our bodies need takes a long time and usually a lot longer than we have at any given lunch hour or breakfast. So we have julienne apple. I'll do the rest of that in a little bit. And I will take the zucchini and do that as well. I could do... Oh, they're flying. Flying zucchini. I could take carrots, beets. I could do that right now. That would be beautiful. The only reason I wouldn't is just the length of this video. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long while you want to get on and do something else. But this is pretty much it. I could julienne anything in the salad, put the dressing over, and serve it, and it's a beautiful meal. And you could see that it didn't take too long. So there we go. And if you want a little zesty or a little lemon, did you hear that? It's going on or off, I don't know. I hope I'm still, I think it went off and went back on again. I think we're okay. So, I want some orange, orange color. So, you can peel. And julienne. It's kind of not so hard to carry. Okay, so we'll put some color in here. And I pulled out a habanero pepper. I'm going to put a piece of it in the dressing just to heat it up a little bit more. So if you don't have habanero and you don't have the habanero honey, use regular honey and add some spice. It would be cayenne. reminded of Julia Child's the video they made fun of her. It was Dan Aykroyd. Um, she cut her finger. <laughs> she keeps going. Oh my gosh. Okay. We don't want to picture things like that when we're using a really sharp blade. Okay. So, here we go. Beautiful. It's colorful. It's happy. It's live. It's vibrant. It's life-giving. It's preventative medicine. Okay, we don't want to end up with disease, and disease cannot live in an alkaline, greens alkalize body. They can't, it can't live in a healthy body where there's healthy flora, when we're alkalized, when we're oxygenated. Um, there's just there's germs everywhere, there's disease, but we don't have to um, live with those things. We don't have to uh, harbor any unwanted guests, and we don't need to be sick. That's the whole point of taking the time to procure things like this. Big deal, it's not that hard. Go to the store, you get these things, you julienne them, you put them in a bowl. If, if you don't have time to make a dressing like this, a little bit of olive oil, salt, lemon juice, and you're done. 
So that's what I want to say. I'll take a beautiful picture of this, this chaga boli mushroom dressing. And oh, I do want to get, these are really exciting. I think these are the beautiful, look at that. It's like just this. So cooking one little item on the stove with garlic and coconut oil adds this kind of cooked food flavor and feel to an otherwise 95% raw food meal. So these mushroom babies are going to go in and I'll take a picture of it when I'm done and I will post it at the end of this video. I love you guys. Get your greens on. Cheers from my live studio audience. Yay. And um, I will see you really soon.